Using protractors to measure angles. This video is produced by MathGPS for Texas fourth graders. A protractor is a tool used to measure angles. To measure an angle, place the vertex of the angle on the location point at the bottom of the protractor. Place one ray so that it points to zero degrees for the easiest measurement of the angle. The labeled tick marks show the angle measures. The acute angle measures 70 degrees. It is 70 360ths of a whole circle. What is the measure of angle FGH? Does it appear to be acute, right, or obtuse? Place the vertex of the angle on the location point at the bottom of the protractor. Align one of the rays so that it points to zero degrees. The tick mark locations show the measure of the angle. Obtuse angle FGH measures 150 degrees. It is 150 360ths of a whole circle. What is the measure of angle DEF? Place the vertex of the angle on the location point at the bottom of the protractor. Turn the angle so that one of the rays points to zero degrees. Does the angle measure 80 degrees or 100 degrees? How do you know? Angle DEF is an acute angle. Therefore, it measures 80 degrees. It is 80 360ths of a circle. What is the measure of angle LMN? Place the vertex of the angle on the location point at the bottom of the protractor. Turn the angle so that one of the rays points to zero degrees. Is the angle acute, obtuse, or right? Right angle LMN measures 90 degrees. It is 90 360 of a whole circle. Determine the measure of angle JKL with no movement in the angle position. How can an angle measure be determined if neither ray is at the zero degree location? If the tick mark values are read from zero degrees to 180 degrees in a counterclockwise direction, ray KJ passes through 135 degrees. Ray KL passes through 40 degrees. How can this information be used? We can subtract. The difference is 95 degrees. Let's count to see if the angle measures 95 degrees. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. Obtuse angle JKL measures 95 degrees. It is 95 360 ths of a circle. Angle measures can be determined by subtraction or counting degrees if necessary. Determine the measure of angle WXY with no movement in the angle position. If the tick marks are read from 0 degrees to 180 degrees in a counterclockwise direction, ray XW passes through 58 degrees. Ray XY passes through 24 degrees. How do we use the information? If we subtract, the difference is 34 degrees. Let's count to see if the angle measures 34 degrees. 10, 20, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34. Acute angle WXY measures 34 degrees. It is 34 360 ths of a circle. Determine the measure of angle PQR with no movement in the angle position. If the tick mark values are read from 0 degrees to 180 degrees in a counterclockwise direction, ray QP passes through 162 degrees. Ray QR passes through 45 degrees. If we subtract, the difference is 117 degrees. Let's count to see if the angle measures 117 degrees. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 115, 116, 17. Obtuse angle PQR measures 117 degrees. It is 117 360ths of a circle. 
But what if the tick mark values are read from 0 degrees to 180 degrees in a clockwise direction? Will subtraction still identify the angle measure? In this case, ray QP passes through 18 degrees and ray QR passes through 135 degrees. If we subtract, the difference is 117 degrees. The process will work with either set of values. Texas fourth graders must measure angles using protractors. This movie file may be downloaded from the Math GPS website. Thanks for watching.